a service of CNC Worldwide. The Daily is a service of CNC News and Jib Jab Greetings. I'm Bud Lowell. The AccuWeather forecast is right across the top of every CNC local news page. A Rochester woman was killed late Thursday night when she was hit by two cars while trying to cross West Main Street near the Bull's Head area. Police say the 24-year-old woman stepped into the street and was hit by a passing car. That impact tossed her into the opposite lane, right into the path of the second car. Neither driver was able to avoid her. The woman was rushed to Strong Memorial Hospital, but was pronounced dead about 11 p.m., and police are still investigating as this is written. The next time you see a police chase on Main Street in Rochester, get out of the way because it's going to be the real thing, not a Hollywood production. The stunt unit for The Amazing Spider-Man 2 wrapped up its nine-day shoot in downtown Rochester Thursday night. The New York City police cars, cabs, and buses that helped transform the Flower City into the Big Apple have been packed up. The hundreds of crew members have checked out of the hotels and caught their flights out of town. Main Street is open again, and you can cross pretty much whenever the light's green. Some people were inconvenienced because they couldn't get where they needed to go. Others came down to see what was happening. Office workers on the upper floors along Main Street were the only people who got really good views. Mayor Tom Richards says he thinks it was worth it, just as the jazz festival closes some streets and some people are inconvenienced while others are delighted. The mayor says this sort of event is what helps to make a vibrant urban area. Watch for everybody's close-up in about a year when the film hits the theaters. And now it's on to the Rochester Lilac Festival, which opens today, Friday. The Rochester City School Board has unanimously approved next year's school budget. The Thursday night vote now sends the budget on to City Council for final action. It's a $734 million plan. Superintendent Bolhan Vargas says it keeps spending flat with the current school year, closes a $50 million revenue gap, and gives more instruction time to elementary school students. The goal is to have more of them reading at grade level by third grade, and to implement the state's Common Core curriculum standards. This budget is nearly $6 million more than originally projected, and that is thanks to some additional funding that came in the state budget. Congresswoman Louise Slaughter says the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers has agreed to dredge the Port of Rochester and Arundacoit Bay. Since then, Louise Slaughter's office says the Genesee River has deposited more than 244,000 cubic yards of silt at the mouth of the harbor. That means big ships like the lake freighter Stephen B. Roman that you see here at Toronto Harbor. Ships like this that used to deliver cement to the S-Rock plant at the harbor can no longer get in. The Corps expects to begin dredging in 2014 with the exact start date depending on the weather. Congresswoman Slaughter says this will help pleasure boaters as well as help attract tourism dollars to the port. The jury began deliberating Friday morning in the trial of Devante Lively for the murder of East High School student Larie Butler. Attorneys gave their closing arguments Thursday. Lively is accused of second-degree murder, charged with beating and stabbing the girl in the basement of his grandmother's home, then dumping her body in a neighbor's swimming pool. Prosecutor Kelly Wolford summarized the evidence, including cell phone records linking Lively to the crime. Defense attorney James Nobles argued the prosecution's theory is that Lively killed Butler, cleaned himself up, drove across town without leaving any trace of evidence in his car, and did all that in an hour. He questioned whether that was possible. When Monroe County Executive Maggie Brooks introduced her new public safety director, he had a familiar face. He's former Rochester police chief David Moore. Brooks says she chose Moore for his excellent qualifications, his law enforcement background, and his managerial experience. Moore was Lieutenant Governor Bob Duffy's police chief back when Duffy was mayor of Rochester. He later served as the city's director of public integrity, and Moore, who now lives in Hilton, is leaving a job as director of public safety for Monroe Community College. His new job will be to administer all county public safety services outside of the sheriff's district attorneys and public defender's offices. Here's another change in an important county agency. Monroe County's health director is retiring in two weeks. Dr. Andrew Doniger's last day will be May 24th. He's been on the job as county health director since 1990, known for his calm demeanor in handling health situations. He has been especially involved in campaigns against teenage smoking and the community-wide collaboration to fight childhood lead poisoning after a study found the rate in Rochester was 10 times the national average. 
The Greece Police Department is getting a new canine dog. It will name it in memory of a fallen Webster police officer and firefighter. Police Chief Todd Baxter says that's a tradition with police dogs. The department holds a ceremony at Town Hall Friday afternoon. They're naming the dog Chip, and that, of course, is in honor of Lieutenant Mike Cipperini, who was shot and killed in the Christmas Eve shootings in West Webster. U.S. Attorney William Hochul says a 42-year-old Chai Lai man has pleaded guilty before U.S. District Court Judge David Larimer to distribution of child pornography and possession of child pornography. Michael Covello had a prior sexual abuse conviction, so on sentencing, he faces a mandatory minimum of at least 15 years in prison. Prosecutor Marissa Miller said officers found the defendant was distributing videos of child porn online. A search warrant executed at his home led to his arrest. Covello will be sentenced on September 17th. To the left of this player window are links to these and other stories. At the bottom of the page, links that you can use. Post news information directly to us, anything you've heard about. If you've got a great cell phone video, let us know the same way. The next news is as it happens, updates as necessary. You can help us be the judge of that. I'm Bud Lowell, CNC News. Have a great weekend.